Happy Wednesday. It's been a while since we've all seen each other, but it is a fun, wonderful evening here at Vintage Meet Modern. And I am showing off our latest vintage jewelry finds. This was our Love is in the Air collection. And we've got all kinds of treasures going from the 1930s all the way through the 1980s. So I'm very excited for those of you who are joining me. Uh, lots of love is in the air and of course, really gorgeous pieces that have been sourced from all over. So I'm very excited to share what's new with all of you tonight. So please go ahead, say hello. Let us know where you're joining us from. Uh, let me know what kind of your favorite jewelry is. Let me know what you're doing for Valentine's or Galentine's. I'm very excited to have everyone here. It is also very, very cold here. It is a 18, like 12 to 18 degrees. It's very cold. So for those of you who live in climates where you can appreciate wearing a nice warm coat, we've got some lovely brooches to dress up those coats. So, and I see we have lots of friends joining us here. Hello, Hope. Hello, Sylvie. Hello, Barnett. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Rhonda. It is all nice to see all of you. And hey, Steph, it's good to see you too. So I'm going to start off the evening right away because lots of people have been asking me about this one, which I think is absolutely perfect for Valentine's Day. So this is the romantic courting scene. Uh, this one is a fantastic piece. I showed myself wearing it during the week. And this one is also able to be worn as a pendant. So I have it through the chain right now, but don't forget this can easily be worn as a brooch. And that's one of the benefits of picking out these higher end, higher quality pieces from the 1950s and the 1960s era is that they are very well made. The 18 karat gold plating on this is in a pristine condition. And then of course, what's really wonderful about this one is this is porcelain and it's not lucite. And it has very nice detail work. And also if you take a closer look at it, I do encourage you to take a closer look at everything online. Uh, if you go ahead and you take a closer look at it, you will see that when it comes to the gold that has been painted on here, also with the darker scene, all of that is in perfect condition too. So it is a nice secure pin back going across it, features a rollover clasp, and then it has a nice little hook on it too. So this one is a super fun one. I think this would be great for Valentine's Day, but it also has that Victorian romantic charm that so much of us love. It's like a little bit of a different version of a cameo, which has its you know singular silhouette, but this one has got the romantic lady and gentleman together. And don't forget, I love the fact that he is looking up to her. So for those of you, all of you beautiful, woman out there who are so strong remember everyone is looking up at you so this one is a fabulous piece head on over to vintage meat modern and take a look at that one and as i mentioned so it just has the little tiny chain on the back of it and you can just slip it right through and then you can go ahead and you can wear it as a brooch it is a very dynamic piece that looks great around a variety of different colors uh, and I'm just going to show you here, since I've got my red on for Valentine's Day, it really pops against the red, too. So great piece. All right. Up next, we had a dragonfly brooch uh, a while back ago, and that one was with colored rhinestones. And this one is fun because this one has got the clear diamante rhinestones on it. So this one is great. It has a little articulated tail. Uh, it is featured in the, classium ro the classic rhodium plating. And as you can see, if you have a black coat, it's really going to pop against a black coat or whatever favorite black sweater or black top you might have on. And also, as I said, I've been pulling out the red tonight and you can see how fabulous this looks against the classic red. So just very, very lovely colors and very lovely ways to be able to wear this one. Plus another benefit of it is this one goes very nicely with other classic rhinestone pieces. So for example, here I've got this very stunning pair, very sparkly uh, pair of round clip earrings. These are another 1950s style. Uh, this one features a prong set round with some brilliant and some emerald cuts. And as you can see, this goes very, very well together. It's a great piece uh, and you can have lots of fun being able to wear these over and over in different ways. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop the earrings on for you and then show a few of the other pieces that you would easily be able to mix with these earrings. So we've got the awesome dragonfly brooch. And then of course, I really have to pull this one out. Oh my goodness, how is this piece still here? This is a fantastic, and when I mean fantastic, this one is eight rows of rhinestones, all prong set, all encased in rhodium, and not one of them is out of place, and not one of them is dark. 
this piece is a rarity in terms of quality, especially because it's never had a stone replaced and it has all original stones. Another thing that's really remarkable about it is that there's not one bent prong either. So everything is really held in place in a spectacular way. As you can see, it goes very nicely with the classic rhodium plated diamante earrings, as well as looks really fantastic with the dragonfly brooch. So lots of reasons to enjoy this one. And another benefit of this one is that this one also has got the original safety chain on it. Uh, remember that the safety chain was definitely a sign of the higher end quality designer pieces. And look at that. I mean, if this doesn't scream like Marilyn Monroe, diamonds are a girl's best friend, I really don't know what does because this piece is just so fantastic. It is just old Hollywood glam at its absolute finest. So this one is a great piece. I can't say enough about the quality of it because it just has got such fantastic workmanship to it. Like I said, there's no wear to the rhodium and also all the rhinestones are in place. So this one makes it very easy to mix with other pieces that you have in your personal collection. So I absolutely love this piece. I hope someone adds this to their collection. If not, tell your girlfriend about it because this one is going to be a good piece too. So we've got that piece. Uh, we talked about the fun dragonfly. Now let's talk about another awesome piece we have. And I talk about these a lot too. So look at all that sparkle. So this is the vintage Aurora Borealis cha-cha bracelet. It's an authentic 1950s one. And as I like to always point out, what's awesome about all of these is that they're adjustable. So, and also they don't require any help in terms of putting them on. Uh, it's just a accordion style that has a little bit of spring to it. As you can see, very easy to put on and off. And it's a classic Aurora Borealis. You can see how classic it looks with the black. Very stylish, very sparkly. Uh, you can see if you put it against color, how beautiful it looks against different colors too. So this one's just a very, very nice and it has all the beads again. You know, we've had such fantastic bracelets this week uh, that, you know, these are all very good examples of the higher quality pieces. This too, not a stone out of place, no chips to any of the crystal, no wear to any of the Aurora Borealis coating, which as you know, is actually on the outside of the beads. So this one's a nice example of a higher quality piece that we have. And it's just another fun one. And it's very easy to mix with other Aurora Borealis pieces. So for example, we have these little Aurora Borealis with little dotted rhinestone earrings, another classic styling. And here you go. All you need to do is if you want a pair of matching earrings to go with this lovely bracelet, that's what you have. Plus, for those of you who have never had a cha-cha bracelet, they're so fun. They literally cha-cha-cha when you wear them. So they're unique, they're fun. Uh, they're one of our best sellers here at Vintage Meat Modern. Lots of people like collecting them. So you're definitely gonna enjoy one. If you don't have one in your collection, they are super fun and you always receive tons of compliments on them. Now what I do wanna tell you though that's really fun is if you wear longer sweaters, so I have on like a cat sleeve today, but if you wear longer sweaters, these even look good over the sleeves and keep in mind, they adjust. So they're very comfortable and very easy easy to wear. We are moving right along here. So next up, as long as we're talking about bracelets, I have to talk about a fantastic bracelet that we have. Uh, this one is actually a new old stock from Suzanne Summers. Remember the heyday of when HSN and QVC had just come out. The designers that they selected were very higher end designers. Uh, you know, you don't necessarily think of Suzanne Summers as one, but there were certain celebrities that got to endorse certain lines. So, you know, for example, I was just watching the other day, uh, The Love Boat. We were watching a rerun of it and it had the costume design by Nolan Miller. And I thought to myself, well, isn't that interesting? Because then later in life, Nolan Miller became a very big designer. We used to have some of his pieces too, but a lot of them were on QVC and HSN. But what I want to tell you is the designer pieces that actually come signed in the original boxes really do retain their value and they were of extremely high quality. So they are worth every collectible penny that you can spend on them. And dun dun dun. So this is the original box. It has this amazing cuff bracelet in it. And it even has the original warranty sheet on it. Uh, and all of it is here. So this one is really fun. 
because if you take a closer look at it, I'm going to show you. It even has heart rhinestones. It has baguette rhinestones. It's got princess. It has round. And they're all bezel set. So we're not seeing any prongs on this. It's a heavy rhodium plating. Uh, it is also signed right there in the middle. Uh, and it's just a fun, great piece. It's a very easy piece to be able to wear with jeans and a tee. It's just like a classic statement bracelet and it's got all kinds of beautiful colors in it. So if you have a favorite color that you do love to wear, like your purples or your greens or your you know, blues, this will go literally with everything. And it's just so much fun because literally when we talk about arm candy, this one is literally arm candy. It has all of those beautiful color stones. It looks like something that you would just pick up and that you would enjoy from all over. And like I said, it's got heart rhinestones, it's got baguette rhinestones, just round. Uh, and then in the center, it's kind of fun because it has that princess cut and then it sort of has like a star shaped design that goes right across it so and it's so fun whenever we can get things that are actually in the original box a few weeks ago i had a pair of vintage uh kenneth j lane earrings that were in the original box so whenever we can offer you something that is new old stock uh you know those are always the pieces that we want to be able to offer you thank you michelle i really appreciate you saying that i look so lovely it's been a rough couple of weeks here over at vintage meet modern but there's the thing Putting on some jewelry will really instantly make you feel elevated and make you feel better about yourself. So everything we have here is super fun. So this is the Suzanne Summers bracelet. Like I said, it's new old stock. For those of you who don't know what new old stock means, it just means that it's literally new to you even though it's vintage. So there's your term for the day. Okay, another great set that we have that is super fun is, and I'm not a really big choker person. But I've said this before. I like this one, which features these sort of pansy style links, and then it's got the filigree silver over it. It's dotted with a little rhinestone in the center, and this is a very fun choker. So I really like this one very high up on the neck. I feel like it definitely has a, that 1950s vibe that so many of us love. Uh, Michelle says she's planning on wearing her VMM purple spinel for Valentine's Day. I love that. Uh, I am planning on actually... I'm not sure what I'm going to wear yet, but it's probably going to be something with a bow. So I love this necklace. As you can see, this one sits so nice on the decollete. And it also has got just the nicest accents of the little bit of the silver filigree. And one of the things that I love about it, in addition to the fact that it can be worn as a choker, is it's very light weight. And, you know, I'm always talking about the benefits of finding the lighter weight pieces because they're just easy to wear. You know, you can put them on and you can forget about them all day. And as you can see, this is another fun one that if you wear a lot of classic black, it's just a very easy piece to set yourself apart from the rest. And, you know, if the choker isn't for you, then one of the fabulous things that you can do is you can always wear them with just the earrings. Uh, Denise says she is new to you and I'm excited for you to be here. I'm excited for you to be here, too. I always love when you join us and always be sure to tell me where you're from because I love Hearing about things because, I, you know, many years ago when I first started Vintage Meet Modern, we literally used to have a map up behind us and we would literally stick little push pins in for all the places that we sell to. And, you know, we sold not only to all 50 states at one point, uh, but we also had so many countries on the map too: Australia, London, Moscow. Uh, Netherlands, just all over every France, Spain. So, you know, that's a really wonderful feeling like that the vintage meat modern pieces travel not only in time, but they travel to all kinds of women from all over the world. So it's super fun. So this is that choker that we have tonight. I do like this one because it can be worn at a longer length and it can be worn as a shorter length. So I had it all the way over there, like close to like the but as you can see, you can also wear it lower too if you don't like wearing something so close at the top of the neck. So this one is a really great piece. Like I said, what I love about it is, is that it's very lightweight, very easy to wear. You don't have to think twice about it. And don't forget, I'm talking all about reds and pinks and Valentine's Day and the Love is in the Air collection. So this is a perfect example that if you love embracing color, this is another piece that's gonna go with everything. It's just a classic neutral. So that one is a super fun piece. That's one's a brand new piece that we have this week. I picked that one up actually at an estate that was actually close to my house. Uh, so for those of you who are traveling out in the Chicagoland area, you will know that some of these pieces come right here from good old fashioned Chicago. Okay, 
So many people had questions about this piece and I'm very excited to be able to share it with you live. So some of you like chokers, some of you do not. Uh, but what I wanted to show you about this one, and it does matter that you get the triple strand set up right. But for those of you who like the cameo pieces but are always looking for something that's a little bit longer but has the look of kind of like a choker style, you do have to get the beads lined up on this one in order to get it to line up. But this one is a nice one because even though it is a cameo and so often when we get these cameo necklaces, they're super short. They are like a choker. And this one is not. This one, as you can see, it hangs perfectly when it's actually in a V. So it fits very, very nicely as like an 18 or a 20 inch. So people had questions about this one. And that's what I wanted to show. I was really excited to be able to have an opportunity to show you this one live because it does lay longer. And so many of you want the longer pieces, even though most of the vintage pieces are shorter. The pearls are a nice quality. They feel very good against the skin. It is a uh, faux pearl, but a very nice one. There's no scratches, no wear to the knacker. It features a fold over clasp in the back that's very secure. And like I always talk about, we're very honest about things always here. You hear me joke about it, but this piece is not part of the ugly cameo club. Um, she has a very nice silhouette. She is against a faux piece of shell, but she is a lovely piece and she fits on the neck so lovely. And if you can't imagine yourself wearing this with a little black dress, you'll have to head upstairs and grab your favorite black cashmere sweater or your favorite knit dress and just pop this one on with it. And remember, we are all looking at each other through Zoom and through pictures and through FaceTimes with our family. We're all looking at each other from the neck up. So now is a great time that even if you are working from home or you're just FaceTiming your family, don't re just remember, I'm always telling you about how important it is to still get dressed up and look and feel your best every day, that it's really about your personal style and helping you look and feel your best. So this is that cameo necklace. I really, really like this one a lot. Uh, for those of you who, who remember when I did the Pender and Peony collaboration back in December, the cameos we had just flew out of here. So I was lucky enough to find this one and very excited to be able to offer it for you. And then, of course, the added bonuses is that this one is a longer length. So I really like that one a lot. All right, for my vintage jewelry collectors who love our names, uh, this one is a vintage Weiss. Uh, this one is a vintage Weiss with a caged ruby. Uh, so this one is another one perfect. Uh, don't you love this? It's so pretty. It's so decadent on. And it has that beautiful cage style stone. And it actually, it looks like a little fan. So it's very pretty. It has all these little feminine details with it. And just bringing it back, it looks very pretty with other Diamante rhinestone pieces. So I love this. It is your classic 1950s piece. For those of you who are my Mrs. Maisel watchers, uh, for those of you who love all those old Hollywood glam style pieces and, you know, the set designs, the costuming for all of our favorite movies back then, this is just something straight out of old Hollywood. And it just has that added bonus of the red ruby crystal underneath and that cage design is really beautiful. And, you know, it goes so nicely with other classic rhinestone jewelry. So it's another one that, you know, if you have other classic Diamante pieces, you can easily be able to pair these all together. And besides that, it also goes great with a pair of diamond studs. So lots of options when it comes to these really beautiful pieces. This one is an unsigned Weiss, but speaking of Weiss, we also, so that one is set in a rhodium tone. I also have a gorgeous one that features Aurora Borealis. As you can see, it flashes both pink and red. And I do have an Aurora Borealis one, and this one is a Weiss as well. This one has dog tooth prong set. It's a 1950s piece. It's a J hook closure. I'm trying to get the J hook to go through. Sometimes I have the J hook backwards while I'm putting it on. That's my problem. So this one, let's see if we can get it. If I can get it on camera, you can get it on you. So this one is the signed Weiss, and this one features the red and the pink stones. Of course, when you put the Aurora Borealis with it, it goes with everything that you have. Uh, and we also have a pair of matching earrings that go with it too. So that's super fun as well. And for those of you who are commenting, I promise I will answer any of your questions that you have. 
uh, for sure. I can't see the comments that are coming up all the time, but I can tell you that everything that we're showing you is available over at Vintage Meat Modern, and these are all of our latest finds. So this one has got a little triple colored, little tri-style stone. It features both the light pink Aurora Borealis with the red, and this one is same thing, princess style. Uh, you know, we can contrast this and see that this is the rhodium plated for those of you who prefer the gold, uh, which is the warmer tone, which I talked a lot about this week was the benefits of wearing warmer tone or gold tone jewelry in the winter because it instantly warms up your skin. Uh, this one is a very lovely piece. And as you can see, it still has a similar style to the other white one, except in a different tone with a little bit of a different setting. So we've got this wonderful, awesome piece here. This one definitely one is one of my favorites tonight, but I think we're coming up on one of my all time favorites that we've had in a while. So this is that fantastic filigree work, 1920s, 1930s bangle. I mean, this is just a fabulous piece. So for those of you who are the true art deco and antique jewelry collectors, this has got the provenance of those 1920s, 1930s pieces. And it features a very beautiful rhodium plated filigree design that as you can see goes all the way around. Uh, and then it has a open back bezel set crystal in a Cinderella blue color in the front. This one is a hinged slide opening. Uh, it fits a small medium wrist most comfortably, uh, but it does have that coveted design and style that so many people love about the traditional antique jewelry. So when we're thinking of things more of the traditional antique market, this is definitely one that falls into that category. And as you can see, like I said, the wire work is just absolutely phenomenal. It is also very lightweight. So for those of you who like the lighter weight pieces, again, this is a very easy lighter weight piece to wear. And you can easily stack this up either with other filigree bangles, which lots of people love stacking these pieces up with other filigree pieces. Uh, but it also goes very lovely with other art deco styles that you have. So you may really, really enjoy this one a lot. And I can't believe we still have it here because these are definitely pieces that people love to collect. So we've got that one. And then speaking of other Art Deco filigree style pieces, I also have got a red crystal open back brooch. Uh, I showed how easy it was with a brooch converter last week on how to convert these pieces into pendants. This one features a very bright, crisp, ruby red color. And this one is another one that's really nice. It goes very nicely across. If you want to use one of those converters, you can easily pop it on and make it into a pendant as well. Uh, it's another great piece that if you love being able to close scarves and shawls and things like that, if you're looking for something that is a lighter weight uh, to go ahead and go through things, you can see the silver still pops really nicely against the red. And it's a lightweight brooch too, so it's very easy to pin to other things. This would look very sweet also on a beret or on top of a winter hat. It's just got a lot of different ways that you can do it. Another thing that I saw during the week that somebody else was showing me that I thought was really nice was there was a nice reference to 1950s fashion of where women were wearing sort of styles with a square neckline with these types of pieces uh, against the square neckline uh, with something that's going across it, sort of a dress clip style. So super fun to be able to see this piece being able, and look, there's nothing behind this and look at how bright and red the crystal is. So another just absolutely fabulous piece. Love this one. It is an authentic 1920s, 1930s era piece. Uh, and you know what? The silver, the rhodium plating is in perfect condition. And the stone has got no flaws to it as well. So this is another really beautiful piece we have this week. All right, contrasting that, we're going to take a 1940s piece and see how it can so easily be updated. So this one features a uh, screw together clasp. And what makes this one special is it's an artisan piece. These are real garnets. And it is a 1940s garnet necklace that has had a 1980s heart charm added to it. It features a screw together, and for those of you who are classic garnet lovers, this one is another great piece because, as you know, garnets are always very collectible. Bohemian garnets are always very collectible, uh, and this one fits the bill of having both the gold, so sort of the artistic kind of charm. For those of you who like designer jewelry, the pattern also kind of reminds me of Brighton. So for those of you who are kind of a Brighton collector, this kind of goes along with those types of style. And then of course, it has this really beautiful garnet color to it with the garland beads. 
Uh, and then this one is, like I said, it's a screw together clasp. But I also want to know, you know, if you are careful, this charm has a very large bail on it. So this one also could be removed and worn with just the garnets. But the garnets have the most beautiful red sort of underlying Merlot color. Uh, they actually do have a translucence to them, so they do not look black. They do truly look like that deep red wine color that we like when we talk about garnets. And it's just cool the way that even an artisan, even though this is a 1980s piece, uh, picked up choosing 1940s garnets to create this piece and give it kind of a revival style. So I got to get the story behind this when I worked with an estate dealer who actually helped a jewelry designer who was local after she had decided she didn't want to have her collection anymore. She was actually downsizing her own pieces and this was an example of a piece that was actually in her collection. So we've got that one. Uh, I know that we have a couple other really fun ones here. This is another great one. I don't know how we still have this one. This one is a signed vintage Austria. Uh, this one features, these are glass beads. Some of them have a crackle finish to them. Some of them have a faceted. This has got some beaded little pearls and there's even some little dots of some Aurora Borealis on it. This one is a nice size and a nice scale. You can see how easily this one goes right against the black. Uh, but it also has got some beautiful light work colors. So I know we've been focusing a lot on the reds and the blacks and the classic rhodium, but the pastels are always still very popular here at Vintage Tweet Modern. Lots of people really love wearing pink. Uh, they love wearing cream. They love wearing those brighter but softer colors. So for those of you who love to embrace that style, this one is a really fantastic piece. And yes, Lucy said, yes, mine. Yes, this is such a great piece. Uh, and it's got just such lovely little details that go with it too. And what makes it really fantastic is just all the beautiful enamel work uh, that is on the inside of each of the leaves. And each of the leaves have been painted a different color too. It has the yellow and the green. It has got a little bit of blue behind it. So this is another example of the really nice workmanship. And then this one is signed in two places too. This one is signed, uh, made in Austria there. And then it also has very, very tiny very, very small over here that it's also signed as well. So very cool piece, just a really nice designer piece. And I love this one. We're going to contrast that one up with, we've got another fabulous brooch. So uh, obviously it's flower season here. You know, if you're not if you're not going to receive a bouquet of roses, what's even better than receiving one is receiving a piece of jewelry that will last as an internal flower forever. So uh, I love being able to offer more of the floral pieces actually at this time of year. This is another great piece. Uh, we had a boucher rose earlier at the beginning of the week, but that one sold on Sunday night. And so now I have another long stem piece uh, that features the pink Aurora Borealis. And again, it's a three inch long stem. And so that means you can do a lot with it. You can obviously decorate your favorite sweater. Uh, as I've been showing everybody tonight, uh, if you have pashminas and shawls and everything like that, it's a great one to anchor across everything. Obviously, this is going to look very dynamic against a classic winter coat, uh, and it could go against a variety of different colors. And even though I'm showing this one against black, again, this is another piece that looks very, very nice uh, with other pastel colors. And so there's a lot of soft pink and sort of uh, whimsical and romantic styles right now. You're seeing a lot of things like from Love Shack Fancy, lots of floral prints. Stuff like this is just absolutely perfect to go with it because it picks up all of those soft romantic colors. And of course, I like anything this big. So this is a great piece. So we have that one. Uh, I know that people have been also asking me about these little scatter pins we have. We have a very nice little small uh, guilloche one. Uh, that features a little guilloche rose and then it also is set with a pinwheel style design and has some little diamante accents as well as it's got some pink ones and what i always love about these pieces is one as i mentioned they look really great against a small bow they look very pretty on a beret they look very pretty layered with other pieces so this one's another favorite of mine but i feel like these two are just meant together um, so this one has got the pink rhinestones with the blue, and then it also has got the nice sort of size and shape. Uh, and it's just a great piece, again, that goes with very many other pieces. This one also looks like it's got some blue that are set in the center. So for those of you who like the blue topaz 
or the blue rhinestone pieces. Uh, this one also, again, heavily plated rhodium back. So just a very, very nice size and scale. And then, of course, I just love anything. Kiyoshi is very collectible around here. So lots of people always like being able to add these to their collection. And as I mentioned, this one's a very little sweet one. Uh, and so if you have sweaters and if you like layering other pieces up with other pieces, if you have other pink rhinestone pieces, you can kind of put them all together. Just makes a nice little sweet scatter pin. And speaking of pink, we also have got a pink necklace that features the tassel. So for those of you who just were seeing the way that I had the pink, ooh, I'm putting that to the back right now. So for those of you who see the pink tassel necklace, this goes also very nicely with other of the pink rhinestone pieces. So another great piece to kind of keep your eyes on. All right, we're coming to one of my all time absolute favorite pieces. And I showed this piece the other day and I'm gonna show you. So this is just, this is an echo silk scarf. And I just the other day when I was wearing it, uh, I just knotted this one up. This one also is kind of cute because it's got like little bow details on it. So keep in mind, I'm doing this on the fly here. Normally I would be playing with stuff like this for a long period of time. So for those of you who like being able to wear scarves with bows, where can I find my other bow at? There we go. For those of you who like being able to wear scarves with bows, one of my favorite things to do, and so many of you saw me the other day do it, is I like being able to take big scarves like this and then put a bow right through them. And so this bow brooch is just fantastic. It is large. It has got a very elegant gold tone to it. It has a little bit of ribbed textured detail to it. It has the pave center stones that are in it. And if you take a closer look at it online, these earrings match it perfectly. When I mean perfectly, this is 1960, means 1980s, and they have the exact same ribbed detail on them. They look like they're absolutely meant to be. Uh, this is a nice, big, large size. I have shown this before on the Clutch from Darling Clutch Co. before. These are absolutely fantastic pieces that you'll wear over and over again and enjoy over and over again. So it's as easy as that, you know, get out your favorite scarf, go ahead and pin it on through. Like I said, I'm doing this on the fly. So if I was going to play with it like I did the other day online, I would have it lined up really nicely with the way that I wanted it to go. But as you can see, it makes a dy very dynamic size. And, you know, you can even wear it right in the front. Just lots of things that you can be able to do with this one. It's just such a great piece. And I know Leanne just dropped the link in here for the matching earrings. The earrings are not from the same designer. They're not even from the same decade. But they just match the brooch perfectly. I mean, it's like they're meant to be together. Someone go grab these, add them to your collection. You won't regret it. So we've got that piece uh, and I'm gonna finish up with like the other piece that we have tonight that a lot of people have been asking about. The bracelets were really outstanding this week, but we also had a lot of nice antique era pieces. So I showed you the Art Deco rhodium plating. And uh, now I'm gonna show you this 1940s with the pink tourmaline style crystal. This one is a 1940s and it is a gold filled and it features open back stones and it has this gorgeous little scroll work. But for those of you who love a daintier style piece, this is an absolutely fantastic one. Very beautiful color. It has a richer, deeper pink to it. So for those of you who like the deeper pinks, it does. Uh, and it has that higher quality of the gold filled too. What I always like to remind people is right now, uh, gold is actually up and even the gold filled pieces are very much up in value. So for those of you who enjoy the classic gold pieces, but you'd like the quality of all the antique pieces, this piece is never going to let you down. And it goes so nicely with so many other different pieces that we have. You can really feel very good about adding something like this to your collection. So that's it. We, I mean, I shouldn't say that's it. I should say we have a pretty spectacular collection this week. Everything from 1920s uh, through 1980s. Uh, the bracelets have just been awesome and amazing. Like I said, we have that really fantastic Suzanne Summers one, right? New old stock in the box. Uh, we have got that cha-cha bracelet. I think somebody said they bought a brooch right now while we were online. So I do appreciate that. Uh, meaning also that if you have your eye on something at Vintage Meat Modern, now is the time to go get it because I think other people are 
I can't help it. Like, you know, I'm sorry, I have to be me. I can't help it. But, you know, if we're going head through and we've got a little whimsical brooch, this one has to fly. So I would do the same thing if we had the butterfly brooch out tonight. I would make the butterfly brooch. So we've got this really great. This is, like I said, this is the classic. It's a glass pearl. So it's a nice one. Uh, we've got matching earrings that go with that choker. Uh, I think somebody said they claimed this one during the show. So thank you very much. Uh, and then we've also got this little very pretty petite red art deco piece. And then, of course, we have the new old stock bracelet. And I'm going to open that up so that I don't, I'm not going to do it. I don't want them to trade and not get knocked over. But there you go. There's your Love is in the Air collection. So many gorgeous pieces this week. So I really want to take time to thank you all for being here. Uh, we have so many beautiful pieces. And as always, one of the biggest benefits of Vintage Meat Modern is we really do work very hard to hand select everything for you. We want you to be able to enjoy all of these pieces and wear them. I always say that you have to be able to head upstairs right to your own closet or you have to go onto your favorite website where you love shopping for your favorite clothes and these pieces have to seamlessly blend with those. That is the whole goal. It is vintage meat modern and I want every piece that we ever have to help elevate your style to help you look and feel your best. Because I always say, I really do. When you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you do good. And I know that the world needs more of you in it. You know, everything is about celebrating your inner style and your personal style and your inner sparkle. And that's what all of these pieces will do for you. There's so much more than jewelry. It is the joy of jewelry that we celebrate all together. I've never met a vintage jewelry collector, whether they're doing it for the fashion aspect of things or they love the sentimental value of things. I've never met women who haven't come together over the joy of jewelry as they add these pieces to their collection. So it's really a lot of fun. And I really feel honored that so many of you spend your time with us and wear your pieces. I know we had some new friends join us tonight, so that is awesome. Uh, so don't forget to tell your friends. Don't forget to share our video. And don't forget, most importantly, to head on over to Vintage Meat Modern and pick your favorite piece because nothing haunts us like the vintage that we didn't buy. So even I have those stories. If you've hung around Vintage Meat Ladder long enough, you know that even I have pieces that were the ones that got away. So on that note, everybody have a fantastic Wednesday. I'm so glad we got to spend time with each other again. It's been a couple weeks since we've been off. So I really do appreciate it. And I'm so glad that you're all here. If I don't talk to all of you before Valentine's Day, mwah! Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. I believe yesterday and today was Galentine's Day. So to all of my awesome, beautiful gals out there, happy Galentine's Day. And treat yourself to something. Yes, that's my, my wish for all of you. Treat yourself to something. Get yourself an endless bouquet of flowers. Get yourself something that is going to sparkle and light up your face. Uh, give a gift of vintage jewelry because it's sentimental and romantic to maybe your sister, your friend, cousin, uh, you know, and just enjoy it because that's what it's all about. All right. Everybody have a fantastic evening. Uh, if you're over in the group and you've got questions, don't hesitate to flag me over there. Otherwise, I can't wait to see what all of you pick. And I will see you all again real soon. Bye, everyone.